Good morning from Bacala. We drove yesterday from Martin's just putting the room key into my pocket <laughs> because I forgot something in the room. We drove yesterday from Tulum with the bus to Bacala. Bacala is one and a half hours south from Tulum and it has a beautiful lagoon which is more than 30 kilometers long and crystal clear water. We will show you that later. And this is actually our hotel. It has our room there, the room with a palapa roof, very beautiful. And a small hotel. You can see here palm trees and there's a beautiful little courtyard with a spiral stair down. And this hotel offers also bikes for free. So we will explore now Bacala by bike. And Bacala is actually a really, really sleepy little village. I really love it because there's, the tourism is just starting. There's, I cannot say almost no tourism, but just a few tourists here and this makes it so nice. There's not much to see here besides the big laguna where you can go swimming and our bicycles are not ready yet because they need to be fixed. There's a pedal missing. It's a little bit hard to pedal just with one pedal. And uh, there is a church which is supposed to be beautiful which we're gonna have a look at now with this huge tree in the uh, garden. So let's have a look at the local church. Oh, cool. it's a church, I would say. Not very big. Not much to see. But and not destroyed by earthquake. Mexico, they will have soon the Dia de Muertes, the day of the dead people, with a lot of celebration. And everywhere you can buy already these beautiful flower bouquets, which you then put on the grave of on your loved ones. So as long as we are waiting for our bikes to get fixed, we visit this beautiful store, which is called. Uh, Manati. Manati. It was just beautiful in the picture. <laughs> and they have also all kinds of breakfast stuff and dinner and lunch dishes. And it's a beautiful garden covered under the pine trees here. Perfect spot to wait while your bike gets fixed. Yeah, and as we are a little bit tall for Mexico, one meter eighty-nine. <laughs> They need to. <laughs> they need to uh, adjust our bikes a little bit better, so we can ride with them properly. But they do this with a big smile, as Mexicans do everything. Let's go to Cenota Zoe. So this is a Cenote Azul, where we just have arrived, and it's a very big Cenote, it's not so Azul, but uh, the water is crystal clear, as you can see down here, and it's supposed to be 80 meters deep, and now we just changed our clothes, took a shower because you have to wash up the way all your sunscreen, and yeah, just take a shower before you jump into the water, so the water stays clear and I'm currently waiting for Marty who is also changing his clothes. There's this beautiful tree here with these amazing flowers all over. And maybe some of someone of you knows what the name of the tree is. 
put it in the comments please. So here on this parking space just on the side of the road there's a cafe called Cafe, Cafe Bacala and the guy is just selling the coffee from his Volkswagen van. And this is how it looks like. Hi. Hi. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Weiler. Ryder? Weiler. Weiler, okay. And this is how the coffee looks like. It has a nice crema. And now we will try it. Cheers. You have to say how it tastes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like coffee. <laughs> no me gusta? In the middle of Bacalar, just by the lagoon, is this big fortress. This big fortress was built by the Spanish in 1733 to protect the village or the town from the continuous attacks from the pirates. There is actually, at the other side of the lagoon, there's a canal called Canal of the Pirates, from where the pirates came continuously. And once one pirate destroyed the whole city, so they said, said now we need a castle. So they built this thing. There's not so much to see in this fort actually, but you have a beautiful view from the tower over the lagoon and you can see on the other side, as Marty was saying, the pirate channel and it's definitely worth a visit. from day two from Bacala after the museum and the fort last night actually we much more I hope that was now our coffee and now we are we just had breakfast and having a coffee at the Zapalo or at the town square of Bacala and we booked a sailing excursion on the Bacala Lagoon which will take about three and a half hours and will bring us hopefully if we have wind actually to the most interesting points of the lagoon. There's Marty, he slept much better than me. We have a hotel which is surrounded by street dogs which have much to tell to each other all night long and party all night. Party all night and barking all night so I'm a little bit trashed. And now we're going to enjoy our sailing trip and coffee. So we have to arrive at the port or at the place where the sailing boat will depart. And there are so many dogs and they just want to play. <laughs> the big one wants to play and the small one doesn't really want to. So we are still waiting for our boat and actually it was supposed to leave at 12 but now it's almost 1 o'clock. And now the guy came to us and said, well, unfortunately, there are no other people coming. So instead of 350 pesos, which is around 17 euros for the tour, he wants to have 600 pesos per person, which would be the 1,200, because as nobody else is coming, it's suddenly a private tour. So that would be 60 euros for the two of us. Now we tried to negotiate and offered him a thousand pesos, which is around 50 euros, and let's hope that he will make it because tomorrow it's going to be supposed to be bad weather and then it would be no fun to do the tour. And also, we actually reserved a sailing boat, a catamaran, to do this tour, and the catamaran turned into a motorboat now. Well, that's Mexico, take it easy and don't get upset, <laughs> just enjoy life and have a beer or a tequila. So off we go, they accepted the price, <laughs> it's all about negotiation and here's our captain David, <laughs> who will take us on the cruise of the Laguna. The water here actually is 
super clear as you can see and the sun is coming out we are really lucky and the only difference is that this is not the Maldives this is a Laguna so the water is sweet water so here just actually connected to the lake it's a cenote it's called cenote nero because it's black and it's more than 90 meters deep and you can see right here where the lake drops into the cenote This bird is called Korea. Korea. North or South Korea. This is stromatolite, what you see in the water over there. And this is a cal calcareous fossil structure that marine algae builds. And it has a rounded form. And it's also um, bacteria. It has bacteria in it that oxygenates the water. So these are like thousands of years old structures in the water. Here in the Pirates Canal, there's an activity that you can do, and it's called Maya Spa. So the Maya Spa consists of taking the sand from the bottom of the lagoon and rubbing it on your skin. And this sand is very, very soft. And it's like a fungo. It makes appealing. And makes you a Maya, become a Maya become a Maya. This is how it looks like. Very, very soft mud. And this actually stinks. <laughs> it's sulfurous. It smells like rotten eggs. It's sulfur. Oh. So, uh, but everything which is stinking and hurting makes you maybe more beautiful. <laughs> we did this in Paros, in Greece. Uh, yeah, I remember. remember. You can look look at the Paros video. Clay mask. And we did this with clay. But it didn't stink like this. So this was a boat excursion on the Laguna Bacala and actually we were really lucky because when we were out the sun came out and now we are back and the sun is gone and the skin so, is so soft and the skin is so soft from the Maya Spa so we definitely can recommend this it's really worth the money even though we had to pay a little bit more for the private tour day three in Bacala Yesterday was the Dia de Muertos in uh, Mexico, which is a very celebrated event. It's like the, yeah, the All Saints Day. And here people dress up. They dress up uh, with uh, masks of, of skulls and uh, go to the graveyards and do processions there and share a meal with the uh, uh, passed away people. And here, actually in Bacala, there was not much celebration. In big cities they have uh, a lot of 
cortege and and uh, shows uh, here not much last night at the restaurant where we were the staff was had a makeup on their face so that was really nice to have that now we are heading to the beach club the beach club of the rapidos the weather doesn't look very happy at the moment it might turn bad but we go anyway because then we can jump in a taxi and come back if it starts raining Unlucky, it starts raining already outside, but what the uh, pum 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 dot dot dot. We are going there anyway, and it's so warm, so we can swim at least. Let's see. I got this boy on my mind that I can't live without, all his eyes are killing me. And he keeps talking about everything that he likes, and I can't stop listening. I'm thinking about him all the time. I'm thinking about him all the time. I'm thinking about him. All the time, all the time. This was our stay in Bacala in Quintana Roo in the south west part, southeast part of the Yucatan Peninsula, nearly to Belize. Huh? See, see, I'm already saying, see, I'm already a Mexican, becoming a Mexican. Yeah, and this uh, place is actually very laid back. We really liked it very chilled, uh, there's not much to do uh, a part of the things that we showed you but uh, we stayed here like five days and it was really enough we had a good internet here so we managed to upload a few extra movies while we were here and tomorrow actually we are leaving as Marty was saying and going back to Cancun I mean back, we haven't been to Cancun yet but we're gonna be there only one night and then we fly out uh, to a new country and for all of those of you who are following us on our Instagram account you probably already know where we are heading or where we will be then because this video will be then uploaded from the new country and for all the new followers from Mexico who are following our journey please continue to follow us don't uh, don't leave us because we are going to come back to this beautiful country very soon sooner than you think and spend more time here and fulfill fulfill our list or tick the rest of the boxes we haven't seen yet so thank you for watching this was the way we saw it in Bacalar in Mexico uh, please follow us share this video if you like and um, safe travels always, always. bye